Hello, I'm Donna and today I'm going to show you a really great background technique. This is a technique using Mod Podge glue and paper pages and a little bit of tissue paper from your patterns. We're going to transfer the text and some of the paper onto some tea dyed or some tea stained paper and it's just going to give you that really nice ripped effect. You can have it just on its own like that or you can put the tissue paper over the top and have it show through and have that really really cool effect. So I'll get started and show you how to do it. So first off tea dye or coffee dye some copy paper and you'll just want a non-stick mat and get your Mod Podge glue out. I'm using the mat because I don't want any shiny bits. I'm not going to put glue over the top because I don't want it to be shiny. I want that, that aged vintage look for my junk journal. You can use this method on tags, you could use it on pages, you could use it on pockets, anything at all that you could use for junk journaling. So you just need to get a little bit of the glue out and pop it on the paper for the area that you want to transfer the text. This paper is pretty old, so the colouring is perfect for this paper. If you use white paper, it's going to show out a lot differently. So you can rip it first. I like to do it this way because it's any glue that squishes out from me using my bone folder is not going to make a mess out the sides. See how it's squishing out? You know, I've got that sort of under control just by leaving it with a bigger piece of paper. So I'm just going to keep on rubbing it and rubbing it because I'm, I'm transferring the text off the paper onto my tea stain paper below. And I'm going to clean up any messy bits that I've pushed out because I don't want my page to become shiny. So then you can start ripping that back and exposing the bit that's left. The longer you leave it there, the different, you know, it's going to be. So clean up that little excess glue. So there's our first area. Now see how the Mod Podge, because it's water-based, it's wrinkling my page. What I done is I started to glue it. I started to dry it. And as I dried it, I kept pulling my paper each way until it come back to its flat you know, original ways. So you can see where the text has come off the paper and I'm just left with that bit of paper. Uh, I can show you how to blend it into the paper once that's dry even more. So you can take off the excess glue off the paper and you can keep randomly just going over your background area, you know, wherever you want to go. Place it down, rubbing firmly. I like to rub that way. It seems to work better for me. You can go up and down, but I do like to go across the page. I don't know what it is, but whether it's the grain of the paper, I'm not sure. Clean that up. And just keep having a peek until you feel it's grabbing, which that is just grabbing and start pulling it until 
you're happy with where it's grabbed. You don't want to lift up the any of the tea stain paper off it and push that back down. Just flatten it with the palm of your hand if it starts to lift up too much paper or lift it up altogether and get rid of it. You can do that. If you think that that's sort of in your road. Don't go too far or you'll just end up removing everything that you've put down. So just flatten it out. So just keep on going until you're happy with your result. So I'll keep going and fill up a little bit more of this page so we can sort of check and see about where halfway is. And I might just put a little bit more over here. Now if it's not wet enough, it won't grab. Go in all different directions. You don't have to go, you know, have your text straight up and down. It's like music. Now, have you noticed today that when people do uh, sing songs, none of the words really mean anything. They just make things up as they go along. The same with junk journaling. Nothing has to make sense. And just pull it away. you get all that lovely ripped effect makes for a really nice background okay now what I like to do is I actually like to dry this before I go ahead and put some tissue paper over the top so I'll go ahead and I'll dry this and I'll be back now I've dried this and as I was drying it, I was pulling it like that and like that and like that until it's nice and flat. Now what you can do here is I just get my paper towel and I used it like this. I roll it over the side and I'll just go like that and sandpaper, this is sandpaper block and just sand just the edges ever so slightly if you've got any rough bits that you'd like to sand back. You can do it flat if you have a flat surface. Just be careful to use something that's reasonably clean or you'll change the color of your background. And you don't even need to do that. It just depends again on the look that you want. I did sandpaper that one and it come out, it just makes that background blend into the paper. Right, now we're going to prepare some tissue paper to go over the top. And if you get a bit, you know, like I chomped a bit too much away there, that'll, that'll settle this down and fix it up a little bit. So you just pull out your tissue paper and these bits here are good because they've got a lot of text on it, a lot of writing. So you can just rip a piece off and work out where you want it. You can have it so that it goes over the other side of the paper and that will add a bit of interest on the other, on the other page or you can just rip that off here and just glue that piece here and that can be there or you can just put it straight down here as well. 
So it just depends on where whatever you rip off as to you know how you want that to look. You could come back in and add that piece there and just a part of that piece. You know, you might not want it all. I do like that piece there. So I think I might go that way. That blends in pretty good. So I'm just going to, this time I'm gonna put the Mod Podge all the way on here. It's not a transfer method on this one. I'm going to straight out just Mod Podge the whole back of this tissue paper. And I'm using my Mod Podge to come right out because I want it to lay flat and blend into the background as well. Don't overuse your Mod Podge, it will wrinkle your page. And again, I'm not looking to make my page shiny. I want it to look, I want to keep that tea stained look. But if you don't put enough glue on here, it won't hold and the corners will lift. If you put too much glue on here, it will be too wet. So let's just lift that up. Just move that out of the way and just roll it down to where you want it from one side first patting it down and moving it across to the other. If you want wrinkles, don't worry about them. If you don't want wrinkles, do it like that. Just roll it down. Doesn't matter if it rips like that did just there and press it down with your palm and leave it alone. Work out whether or not you want another piece on there. If it's too big, just remembering that's there and I don't want any of that on my page. So just work out whether or not you want another piece here. So we might put that piece just there. Same again, go from the middle out to the edge. Because that edge is important to be glued down. We don't want it lifting up and causing trouble later on. Lift that up. It is quite fragile. And I'm just going to blend it into that text. Doesn't have to be straight. And blend it down. Pat it down. I want to pat it down so I can see the text come through. So I'm going to have some text exposed and some text under the tissue. I'm just going to sit my Mod Podge brush in some water so it doesn't stiffen up on me. Now once that's dried, that you can see now why I dried my paper first before I put that on so it doesn't start curling up over curling so and that's still quite flat at the back so then you just fold over your paper in half and there's a page that's ready to go into your signature into your journal if any of these papers start to lift here it's just a matter of putting that tiny little bit of glue but just put it on the tissue paper don't put it on your paper and then lay it down Put it on the tissue paper and then lay it down but just i won't do that now because i'll put my paintbrush in in the water and it'll be too wet so you just go back and, and do that but remember to do it on the tissue paper not the page and that will lay down nice and flat so there we have it a nice background paper page for your junk journal and don't forget you can use this technique to make a tag background as well i'm donna Thanks for watching and bye for now.